Hey guys, good morning. My name is Camila Jimenez and I'm here to share with you some tips to go over the writing section of the Red Exam B1 level. So as you know, our Red test on the writing section has three tasks. All three tasks are expected to be completed in about 45 minutes. Three, those three tasks involve first, an email message reply, second, an essay elaboration, and third, a language use close, which implies a multiple choice selection. For the email message reply, you're expected to write between 80 and 100 words. This is basically, you are going to receive a message or a part of a message to which you will have to write a response, right? In the email message format. In the case of the essay, you are expected to write between 150 and 200 words. This is basically based on a question that you are given or a statement to which you have to tell whether you agree or disagree, right? There are four basic criteria to which we, the evaluators, pay attention to when we are reading your answers. First, there is task fulfillment. This implies that we pay attention to the content of your answers, whether you answer the question in the case, for instance, of the essay or in the email message reply, if there were certain questions that you were requested to answer, did you answer them? Also, whether you included all the necessary information that you were expected to include. Organization, that's the second one. So was your answer organized? Could we actually identify a structure in your response? So was there a beginning, a development, and perhaps a conclusion as well? Third, grammar. So are you using grammar appropriately? Is there an elaborated sentence structure? Can we see a subject, a verb, a complement in the sentences? Is there a good range? I mean, are you using simple forms, complex, form, complex forms? Are you using punctuation appropriately? Do you know how to use commas? Do you know how to use periods, quotation marks, question marks? All of these elements are part of grammar. And finally, vocabulary. This includes also spelling. Pay attention particularly to homophones. Remember that some words have very similar pronunciation, but they are written completely differently and they have different meanings as well. Pay attention also to the range. Are you using a wide range of vocabulary or are you narrowing down to a limited range of vocabulary? Is the vocabulary you're using appropriate to convey the meaning or maybe you're using words in an inappropriate manner? All of these elements are very important for you to excel at your, at your writing tasks. So I hope these tips were useful for you to complete the writing section and see you again in another video. Goodbye.